ಬಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದಂ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶಕ್ಕೆ ಪಾಸಿಂದು ಬವಚ ಪತಿತಂ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂ ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದೆ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈತಿಲ್ಸಿದೇವ್ಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸ್ನಭಕ್ತಿಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವೀಂ ಸ್ವರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸಂ ತೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರಂ ಧ್ಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಭಿರಂಚಿನು ಶರಣ್ಯಂ ವೀತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪನುತಪಾಲ ಭವಾದ್ದಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರುನಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನ ಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಕಪೋದೂಷು ಅದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸ್ವಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾಂಕಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸ್ಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸ್ಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನುಕಾ ಬುಧಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರೋ ಕಮಲ ಯಥಾಕ್ಷ ವೀಶಾಂಬರೋ ದ್ವಿಜವರೋ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೋ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾವತಾರೋ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೇ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಚ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಚ ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾನುರೂಪೇನ್ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಷೀತ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣೋ ಪ್ರಿಯಮನಂಗ ಮದಾಪಾರ ವಾರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಯಶ್ಚಕ್ಷಿ ಯಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀತ್ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹ 
हरे हरे श्रुति अपरे श्रुतिमितरे भरत अन्य भजंत भवभिता अहमियनंदनम बंदे यशालिंदे परम ब्रह्म श्रुति अपरे श्रुति इतरे भजत भारत मन्य भजंत भवभिता अहमियनंदन बंदे यशालिंदे परम ब्रह्म श्रुति अपरे श्रुति इतरे भारत अन्य भजंत भवभिता अहमियनंदन बंदे जस्यालिंदे परम ब्रह्म गौड़ीय गोष्ठीपति श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपा जगदगुरु टोल नथिंग परमानेंट इन दिस मेटेरियल वर्ल्ड विथ हुईच वी आर बिजी ऑल द टाइम गौड़ीय गोष्ठीपति श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत तो सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर बहुपा जगत गुरु टोल्ड नथिंग परमानेंट इन दिस मेटेरियल वर्ल्ड विथ हुईच वी आर ऑलवेज बिजी वाइल स्टेइंग इन दिस मेटेरियल वर्ल्ड वी कैन फेस विथ डिफरेंट कैंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स दैट इज क्वाइट नेचुरल एंड इफ वी जस्ट ब्रेक डाउन If we lose our spirit, then in that case we cannot come out successful. While living in this material world, diff- we can face different kind of problems. is quite natural. And if we face different kind of problem, and if we break down. then it is not good on the contrary we will have to eliminate all different kind of problems we can keep spirit inside us we should not break down this is not you know good after after eliminating all different kind of problems because problem is quite natural after eliminating different kind of problems different way what object we like to attain our attention should be fixed up the after eliminating all problems okay after that what is your target what is our target what object we like to get and after leaving this body where we can go we can get eternal life or not and if we are going to get eternal life enter into eternal life what uh, what kind of you know you know what kind of eternal life we can get what kind of seva we can get all this kind of conception should be clear while living here while we are living here all these questions should be clarified what we want what we don't want there should be a final settlement of this you know thing not that like crazy man we can we can demand something and after some days we can say no i don't want it this is not good while living here in this material world what we want what we don't want this uh, one settlement should be there about this thing follow there should be one final settlement of that Prabhu speaking the more we can get deviated from guru vishnu and bhagwan i mean krishna charan the more we can get, get deviated from the lotus feet of guru vishnu and bhagwan i mean krishna charan the more we can feel attraction or repulsion 
four objects here all around us in this material world. We will have to get rid of this kind of attraction and repulsion and we, sh we should feel attraction for Aprakita Harinam. We should get out of this attraction and repulsion of this material world, different kind of objects and men, women, we are feeling attraction and repulsion all the time. We should get out of it. We can get rid of this kind of attraction and repulsion. And at the same time, we should feel attraction for Aprakita Harinam. If we are not anyway, if we are not going to feel attraction for Aprakita Harinam, then we can never understand the excellency of Krishna Seva. We can never understand, we can go on doing Tilak, Mala, Japa, Ekadasi, everything we can never understand. Until and unless we are going to feel attraction for Aprakita Nam Prabhu, no improvement, there is no possibility of any improvement in our bhajan life. The topics of Krishna is really is perplexing. The topics of Krishna is really so excellent and you know, it is impossible to believe. It is impossible to believe, believe that it is possible. Krishna is such, you know, Leela Mai, such Prema Mai, he can also attract me, he can also embrace me, it's possible. We cannot believe. The topics of Krishna itself is very perplexing. Actually, all different kind of foreign elements, foreign conception, going to put some, you know, put some travel in front of us in Krishna Bhajan. Different kind of conception, foreign conception, which is not usually, it should not be there with us in Krishna Bhajan. But this kind of, you know, foreign elements, I mean foreign conception, cannot allow me to realize the absolute truth. My absolute, you know, object, what I need, that I cannot feel. Because some outside feeling going to put some barrier, impediment in the way of my feeling. I cannot realize. I cannot realize what I need actually. What is my eternal, you know, object that I should get. Anyway, this way, everybody knowingly, unknowingly, they are fighting with their different kind of, you know, they are facing different struggle, struggle, they are struggling all the time. Popad going to advise us, is this material body, if we can sacrifice this material body, in the Sankirtan Jagyagni of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is good. Papa speaking, we are going to foster this kind of you know, desire inside our heart to sacrifice our body in the Sankirtan Jagyagni enlightened by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. We never want to get any, we never want to earn any name and fame regarding karma beer, dharma beer or you know we don't our objective one and single we like to serve Bhagavan Sri Krishna I mean Sri Krishna Chaitanya when Mahaprabhu was there in Ilhavad Ganga, Jumuna, Saraswati, confluence of these three, these three rivers, Ilhavad, then at the house of, you know, Arail Gram, village Arail Gram, that side of the river, 
Vallabh Bhatta, his house. There, Raghupati Upadhyay, Mahaprabhu, he was a disciple of Madhavendra Puripa. So Mahaprabhu wanted to know some Siddhanta Vichar from him. Follow. Then Raghupati Upadhyay, he was speaking very sweetly. And Mahaprabhu was very, very happy. Shrutim apare, Shrutim itare, Bharatam anni bhajantu bhava bhitaha. Somebody going to, you know, follow Shruti. Somebody going to follow Shruti. Somebody going to follow Mahabharat. To become fearless. But more or less, some sort of un unknown fear always following us. More or less, some sort of unknown fear always going to follow us. Of course, those who are Paramahansa, those who are doing perfect bhajan, for them, it is not applicable for other people. Because the answer of Parikhit Maharaj to Sukhdev Goswami, Sukhdev, Sukhdev, Sukhdev Goswami giving answer to Parikhit Maharaj, if you like to become fearless, then you will have to do etad nibritta mananam michatam akuto bhayam etad nibritta mananam michatam akuto bhayam yogi nam nipponirnitam harer namanu kirtanam etad nibritta mananam michatam akuto bhayam if Material enjoyment is enough in your life. If you say enough of it, I don't like to get. Always going to put me in trouble. If you like to become fearless, then it is the Siddhanta Vichar, final conclusion of all Santa Mahatma. Etat Nibritta Mahananam Michatam Makuto Bhayam. Yoginam nipo nirnitam harer nam anukirtanam. Harer nam anukirtanam. Under the guidance of Guru Vaishnav, you have to go on doing Harinam Sankirtan, Harikatha, Kirtan, all you have to do. Also, you can remember the mood of Devahautima. Nirvinna nirvinna nitaram bhuman asodindya tarsanat. Jeno Sambhasu Maneno Prapanyandham Tamahaprabhu. In front of Kapilji Maharaj, Mada Devaut is speaking, I am just fed up of this material enjoyment. Enough of it. Nirvinna Nitaram Bhuman. Nirvinna Nitaram Bhuman Asadindya Tarsanat. Because you can get, never you can get satisfaction. Never in your life saturation point can never come regarding enjoyment. The more you can go for material enjoyment, the more you can, you know, increase your fire inside your heart. Nirvinna nitaram bhuman asodin yotarsanat. Devauti, mother speaking, I wanted to supply all items what all my sense organ wanted to demand all the time, my eyes going to demand this, my ear going to demand this, my tongue going to demand this, all I wanted to fulfill their heart. But still today, still today, I cannot reach any saturation point. This is the painful situation of my life. Follow. Nirvinna nitaram bhuman asatindya tarsanat. The thrusty for enjoyment can never come to an end. Nirvinna nitaram bhuman asatindya tarsanat. Jeno sambhasa maneno prapanyanam tamahapadu. Now I am fallen in a dark world. Prapanyanam tamahapadu. Where nobody can take any decision, nobody can think. Nobody can, you know, all, you know, judgment power, all can. 
you can lose all your rationality, everything. You can remember the Gita slogan, you know. Dhyato Vishana Pungsham Sangasti Supajayati Sangyat Sanjayati Kam Kamat Krodo Vyati Krodat Bhavati Sanmoho Sanmohat Siti Bibham Siti Bibham Sat Buddhinasa Buddhinasa Pranasavi. You can get lost. Big problem. So the inner meaning of bhajan is to increase consciousness every fraction of second. The inner meaning of bhajan is to increase consciousness fast. Go on increasing sadhan bhajan. After that you can get seva, eternal seva. That's you know, you know, a long distant dream. A long distant dream waiting for us. Okay. So now, actually, Sukhdev Goswami giving answer. If, if you want to become fearless, when you can become fearless? When we can become fearless? If we cannot get bhakti, then we cannot become fearless. Impossible. Only and only when you can get bhakti, eternal seva, then we can become fearless. In this material world, all this tension and anxiety going to disturb us, different kind of anxiety, problem, cannot allow us to concentrate in our bhajan. All the time we are burning, burning all the time. Cheta darpanam arjanam bhavo maha davagni nirvapanam. All the time fire going on. So, Actually, Sila Sanatana Goswami Pad going to arrange some nectar for us. Wanted to distribute some nectar to us through Brihad Bhagavatam Brita. We can never pay to Sanatana Goswami. In infinity period, we cannot pay. Impossible. So, while staying in this material world, there can be some problem. But Prabhupada speaking, don't try to leave your Harikatha Kirtan. There can be countless problem in your life, but still, it is my advice to you that it is a, it is a solid bhajan. Yours, there is a solid bhajan actually, your Harikatha Kirtan. Don't try to Stop Harikatha Kirtan. Don't try to leave Harikatha Kirtan. You know, don't get disheartened. Disheartened. Always keep spirit, energy, enthusiastic energy. We can find in this material world. Nobody interested to accept this kind of absolute truth, this Siddhanta Vichar. They find it conflict, conflicting with their, you know, usual mood. In this whole world, if you search, it's very rare to find such a person who can accept this absolute truth, absolute way. Absolute when me, he can try to apply in his own life. Such personality rare. But Pope was thinking, okay, still, you know, with full enthusiastic energy, go on, you know, speaking about this Harikatha, Rupa Katha, you go on doing. Don't try to stop. And one thing you should remember with Srinatha Piswini Jiva, more forbearing than a tree. And humbler than the bread of grass, this very philosophy, this philosophy very easy to speak in front of public, but a very difficult to apply in own life. But still, without which Harikatha, Harikirtan, impossible. All the time we have to do. Humbler than the bread of grass and we should grow more, you know, more forbearing than the than than a tree. This way, Mahaprabhu giving his advice to us. All the time we'll have to do Harikatha, Harikirtan. 
नॉन स्टॉप हरि कथा हरि कीर्तन कैन सेव आस नॉट इन दिस साधन साधन लाइफ इट इज कॉल्ड आवर साधन लाइफ वी आर डूइंग साधन वी आर डूइंग हरि कथा कीर्तन इज आवर साधन मोड वन कैंड ऑफ साधन मोड श्रवणम कीर्तनम विष्णु स्मरणम पाद वन कैंड ऑफ भजन मोड साधन अंग नाम इन बंडेड कंडीशन नाम इन बंडेड कंडीशन दिस सवन कीर्तन इज आवर भजन अंग you know one fold of bhajan in bonded condition savan kirtan is our one fold of bhajan practice we can go on doing practice but in siddha avastha when you can attain the stage of siddha in that case this harikatha kirtan is a sadha now your sadhan now when bonded soul going to practice harikatha hearing hear harikatha you know speaking doing kirtan oh is called sadhan mode sadhan anga but when you can attain siddha stage or those who are eternally siddha coming from eternal world by the order of prabhu for them this sadhan kirtan is sadha sadha mean sadha mean by the help of your sadhan sadha mean by the help of your sadhan by doing bhajan what you like to get that is called sadha what is your ultimate target so bonded condition the sadhan kirtan is sadhan but in siddha avastha it is sadha इन सिद्ध अवस्था इट इज साध साध मीन शोभन कीर्तन गोईंग टू गिव यू फैसिलिटी टू डू इटारनल कृष्ण सेवा यू कैन क्लियरली सी कृष्ण यू कैन सर्व एवरीथिंग देन योर सवन कीर्तन कैन मैनिफेस्ट एवरीथिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू यू कैन सी व्हाट इज व्हाट एज इट इज इन द इटर्नल वर्ल्ड दैट्स वाई इट इज कॉल साध साध मीन by the help of your sadhan what you are supposed to get attain that is called sadha so sadha mean hari katha kirtan for gopikas the hari katha kirtan is their sadha because their hari katha their hari katha can give them consolation they can get the association of krishna through hari katha so this is called actually sadha that is why they are speaking tava kathamritam tapta jeevanam karvi kavi viritam kalma sapaham savana mangalam simadatatam bhuvi ginan tute bhuri da jana follow now we can come back to the discussion of brihad bhagavata amrita you can remember brahma very humble way wanted to explain all in details about his own status position in front of son or or disciple naraji maharaj brahma was speaking so many thing so i was discussing this point kuvereno pura aradhyo bhaktya rudra vasikrtaha brahmandya abhyantare tasyo kailase adhikrite giro तद्विदीकपाल तज्ञपरिवार वसती आविष्कृत स्वल्पवैभव सन् स्वल्पवैभव सन् उमापति दिस उमापति दिस वर्ड गोइंग टू इंडिकेट द शंकर भगवान गोइंग टू स्टे विथ उमा आई मीन शक्ति Uma Devi. Brahma is going to speak that previously, Kuber Bhagwan he was doing astrity and penances, doing bhajan of Sank Sankar Bhagwan, Kuber Kuber Rain of Pura Pura Aradho Aradho. Previously he was Arad he was you know 
ओरशिप आराधितो फलो कुबेरेनो पूरा पूरा आराध्यो भक्त्या रुद्र बशी कितहा ये वस्वयं भक्ति टू रुद्रो भगवान संकर एंड संकर भगवान was very happy to see his bhakti. So according to the desire of his bhakta, Kuber, he started, you know, living there in Kailas. Brahmandya bhyan tare tasho kailase adhikrite giro. Kailas Parvat, they are all around, you can find Alaka Puri. They are Kuber ji Maharaj. Follow. Kuberji Maharaj is staying there. All his, you know, Parshat, they are also staying. They are actually, you know, they are the Parshat of Rudra, Sankar Bhagavan. So, Bhagavan, Brahma speaking, then that is why Sankar Bhagavan was very happy by the devotional mood of Kuber. So he started living there in Kailasa Gire, Kailasa Adhikrita Giro, Kailasa Adhikrita Giro. And this is within this Brahmanda. This, there is one indication. This, there is one indication. Brahmanda Bhyantare Tasho Kailasa Adhikrita Giro. Tat Vidhi Kapal Rupena Ishan Kong. I was speaking Ishan Kun actually, uh, northeast. This direction is Ishan Kun, and Nirith is south and west, uh, where Jamraji Maharaj stay. This direction, if you go, 99 Jojan. There is one calculation. Nirnabha Yaja Jojan. There actually Jamraji Maharaj, Maharaj staying, and Northeast direction, you know, follow Ishan Kun. There actually, Sankar Bhagavan staying there in Kailas Parbat. And Tod Bidik Pal, Dik Pal, controller of that direction. This actually is Sankar Bhagavan staying this direction, special direction where Sankar Bhagavan staying. And Tod Joggo Parivarakaha, which is all his paraphernalia, Nandi, Viringi. And son Umapati, Umapati, this word means Umap, Umapati means Umadevi, is, she is also staying with Sankarva. Basati, here is one indication. Jaya Basati, Aviskrito Salpa Vaibhavaha. Sankar Bhagavan staying there, but not going to manifest full Vaibhav. He is not going to manifest full appliances. He is going to, you know, he is, he is going to express some uh, moderate, you know, con, you know, you know, some, you know, vaibhav, appliances, not full vaibhav, a partial vaibhav. When did you express partial vaibhav? And you can remember, this partial vaibhav is also, de, also excellent for us. Because, you can remember when Daksha Yagya was, was finished, Daksha Yagya was, you know, Daksha Yagya was destroyed. After that, Sankar Bhagavan was sitting as if one big, you know, big, you know, you know, wind, very strong wind. After strong wind, cyclone gone, then the nature can t take the form of, you know, very tranquil form, calm and quiet form. After the cyclone gone, cyclone is over, perhaps you have seen. Similarly, Sankar Bhagavan, after, you know, all the Yajna place was destroyed and Sankar Bhagavan was sitting there, you know, in Kailas Parvat, all demigods, they are going to approach him to pray so that they can, they can, they are going to pray for pardon, excuse, so that to satisfy him. 
that time there was different kind of you know description about that alaka puri all the kailas is very nice place very very nice place opulence is there but shankar bhagwan going to express some partial opulences because shankar bhagwan going to do bhajan there na that's why you know so now can question can come why you speak this word basati abiskrita salpa vaivaha then where is this full you know full opulences where is going to express what do you mean to say that is question come i can come to this answer question you know now here brahma speaking jat जथा ही कृष्ण भगवान मदृश भक्ति यम लोके सरादौ च वसती उचितलीलया भगवान शंका जथा ही कृष्ण भगवान मदृश भक्ति यहा ब्रह्मा स्पीकिंग ब्रह्मा स्पीकिंग दैट maybe bhagwan is satisfied with my devotional practice that's why bhagwan going to stay here in brahma loka so long you are you know glorifying me and speaking the bhagwan staying in my dham ok well this point is there yatha hi krishna bhagwan madrisham bhakti yantitah Maybe Bhagwan is satisfied with my bhakti devotional practice. That's why Bhagwan going to stay there in my Brahma Lok, and not only here, also in Sar Lok, in Sarga, Satta Lok and Sarga, Sarga Adi the, Sarga Adi man etc. In heaven also, Upendra Singh is a younger brother of Indra Maharaj, but actually Supreme Lord. सो यथा ही जथा ही कृष्ण भगवान मदृश भक्ति यहा मम लोके सराद च वसती उचित लीलया अकॉर्डिंगली भगवान गोइंग टू एन शो शम कृपा कृपा मीन इज टेंग इन शतलोका एन इन सारगा दे आर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ इन उपेन्द्र and also bhagwan not going to manifest full appearances partial expand you know though heaven is full of appearances but comparative statement we can see when bali maharaj was sent to sutal it is written in bhagavatam the appearances there in sutal is more more and more than heavenly planet in heaven you know there where in the strain the aplan says there in sutal is more than that so this way we see bhagwan going to manifest some vaibhav aplan says there in satyalok also sargalok also salpa vaibhav partial expression not full expression usually going to stay in heaven also in my you know sargadi or in different place bhagwan can say according to his desire similarly mahadev shankar har har mahadev he is also going to stay there in kailas but not going to express full appearance as partial expression because specially he is going to do some bhajan there all time under water or sometime you know sitting you know in center all around fire glowing on and the sun a scorchy sunlight up so from up hot and all around bhagwan you know arrange fire and in between bhagwan going to do bhajan this kind of astute impulses bhagwan doing follow so anyway with his you know family i mean shakti durga devi uma devi and all his paraphernalia is going to stay there but not going to express full appearances
that's mean here is one indication that beyond this material world i mean this you know is cosmic world there is this brahmanda beyond this brahmanda i mean if you go and cut you know biroja there is a chinmay water you can find if you can cut and go there first of all you can find impersonal brahma effulgence i was discussing gita brahma na hi pratishta aham after that if you cut and go up there you can find sada shiv loka sada shiv loka it is the actual place of sankar sada shiv about which in chaitanya chaitamrita you can find maha vishnu jagat karta mayaya ya sujati adah tashyavatar eva ayam advaita acharya iswaraah advaita acharya is non different from maha vishnu is full of appearances you can find there in eternal world you know there sadashiv loka sadashiv loka not here here actually kailas but sadashiv loka is beyond this in you know our material conception here to cut and go brahma effulgence everything first of all you can go to satta lok satta lok you can go and cut brahmanda kataha covering then you can find the big you know water you know biraja after that you can you have to go up and up then you can find one impersonal effulgence brahma loka a uh, brahma jyoti where all you know those demons like you know kangsa adi they are going to get you know place there brahma sajujya impersonal brahma sajujya mukti they are going to stay there like you know like they are coma state not coma actually like if you take if we if you take you know brown sugar and you know snack bite and you can fall down this is the condition they cannot understand their situation they have no they have no you know consciousness totally off this kind of status they are going to get follow so actually full eternal vaibhav is there in sadashiv loka do shankar bhagwan not going to express this full vaibhav here partial expression is good because he is going to show he is acting as acharya he is doing bhajan and umapati going this word going to indicate uh, Devi is also there with Sankar. So this way, actually, Bhagwan going to also Brahma going to speak. Atho vayu puran, atho vayu puranasho, matam etad babrimi, babrimi aham. Also, I am going to speak the Siddhanta of vayu puran. Atho वायु पुराण से मतम एतत बब्रमी अहम आई एम गोइंग टू स्पीक ऑफ द कंक्लूजन ऑफ वायु पुराण महादेव लोक लोकस्तु सप्तावरण वही सेवन डिफरेंट कैंड ऑफ लेयर यू कैन फाइन अप एन अप एन अप एन अप अप था दैट द क्वेश्चन ऑफ सदाशिव लोक अथो वायु पुराण से मतम एतद बब्रमी अहम महादेव लोकस्तु सप्तावरण बही फलो यथ गो सेवन डिफरेंट लेयर्स पृथ्वी डिफरेंट सेवन लेयर्स अ देयर एंड देयर एक्चुअली यू कैन फाइंड महादेव लोक महादेव लोक विराजमान सदाशिव लोक Yeah. that is eternal dham and also you know eternal bliss prevailing there eternal bliss and it is satya swarup satya swarup and can never be destroyed and actually brahma going to speak atho 
वायु पुराण से मतम एक बब्रिमि अहम महादेवलोकस्तु सप्तावरण सप्तावरण वही नित्य सुखमय सत्यो लव्य सेवक तमोई एंड दोज व दोज व द एक्सेलेंट डिवोटी दोज वर एक्चुअली दोज वर एक्चुअली नाइस डिवोटी वेरी वेरी एक्सेलेंट डिवोटी हाई क्लास डिवोटी दे आर एक्चुअली गोइंग टू एंड गोइंग टू एंटर इन दैट लोका सदाशिव लोका लव्य सेवकोत्तमी I am going to give indicate seva gatamo. Seva gatamo, but those who are serving, they are seva. As seva gatamai, those who are doing nice seva, excellent seva. For them, the eternal world is world is waiting. Sada siblo, not for all. Not that everybody going to you know doing some external seva of sankar, going to take ganja. in a wine ah oh, sankar we are doing bhajan no eh yeah. so labhya hastat sevagat tamai here one indication now question can come who is the excellent devotee what do you mean what is siddhanta what is the siddhanta actually those who have tatva siddhanta gyan those who love sadashiv shankar bhagwan and they can understand sadashiv bhagwan shankar is non different from krishna not that not not that shiva shankar is separate parmeshwar and krishna parmeshwar mean parmeshwar mean absolute sir supreme lord supreme lord is krishna but still according to achinta vidavet tatva If you can realize that Shiv or Shankar, Shankar and Shankar and Krishna non-different from each other, from Bhama Sangita, last week I was speaking na, Kiram Jatha Dadhi Vikar Vishesh Jogat Sanjayati Nahi Tatha Pitagasti Hetu Ja Sambutam Upi Tatha Swamipiti Karjat Govinda Madhi Purusham Tamam Bajam. Actually, in Brahma Sangita, we read in Bhagwan Sri Krishna taking the form of Sankar for some important karya, for special purpose. Follow. So, actually, point is that that those who are nice devotee, they have tattva gyan. they have respect for shankar bhagwan they are doing but at the same time they have clear idea that shankar bhagwan is non different from sri krishna they are actually an you know, excellent devotee shreshto bhakta topmost devotees they are going to worship shankar no problem but they have clear idea they have clear idea through sip puja they have clear idea though i am going to worship shiva but still krishna going to get satisfaction follow what is say like when you are going to you know worship gurudev are going to ignore all guru varga then your guru puja is totally rubbish useless guru puja because gurudev is not one person guru tatva is one undivided tatva when my pushpanjali can reach the lotus feet of guru maharaj whereas externally i am going to give pushpanjali unto the lotus feet of my some of my guru varga suppose i am going to pay in a pushpanjali unto the lotus feet of sidhar goshi maharaj but that pushpanjali can reach the lotus feet of my guru maharaj surely there is called guru tatva puja actual puja guru puja so whenever 
it is in hari hari bhakti sudoda it is also written ete brahma rudyadya navagaya kadachano hari rev sadaradhyo guru patpad me used to say often very often hari rev sadaradhyo try to understand guru patpad used to remind me all the time hari rev hari rev sadaradhyo sarva devi sarishwaro hari rev sadaradhyo sarva devi sarishwaro ete bhamma rudyadya navagaya kadachano very often guru maharaj used to say hari rev sadaradhyo He is the absolute or supreme object, supreme Lord, no doubt. Sarva Devi Shri Shri. He is the Ishvara Paramakrishna Sachidananda Bigra, Anadir Adi Govind Sarva Karana Karana. My worship and to the lotus feet of Krishna can satisfy the infinity world. Follow what I say. My worship. If I am going to worship Krishna properly, then whole infinity Brahmanda can get satisfaction. Tasmin tushte jagat tushta. If Krishna is satisfied, then infinity world can get satisfaction. Follow. So Hari Deva Sada Aradha Sarva Devi Sarishra. Also, you can remember. Very often I speak this sloka. You can remember, na? Devarshi Bhutatmani nam Pitti nam Nayam Rini Charajano, eh? Sarvatmana ja Saranam Saranyam Gato Mukundu Parihit Kattam. If I worship Krishna, if I can worship Krishna properly, then. I need not worship anybody. I need not try to satisfy anybody. Infinity world can get satisfaction by my worship of Krishna Charan properly. Follow. So Devarshi Bhutatmani nam Pitti nam Nayam Rini Chara Rini Min. I am not indebted to anybody. Whenever one Jivatma taking birth in this world. He is always some duty. Yes, follow. Devorin, you have to pay to Devata. Rishirin, Pitrin, and Bhutarin. This kind of poor thing going to disturb you because you are not doing Hari Bhajan. Those who are not doing Hari Bhajan, any Jivatma. Any jivatma when going to take birth in this world, he is all he is always you know, you know, full of burden, of rain. In mane, he is indebted. He is indebted to demigods, devarin, rishirin, rishirin first. So rishirin. How you can pay Rishirin? You will have to pay. And there is no way out. Whenever one Jivatma taking birth, he will have to pay because karma fall. He will have to bear his own karma fall. Nobody going to take risks. Follow. All, you know, all individual karma fall can follow him, follow you after this, after. You, you live, when you are going to leave this body, your karma fall can follow you. Follow. All karma fall, respective karma fall, all jiva they will have to be here. Nobody can take risks. So you see, whenever one jivatma going to take birth, first of all you have to pay his rishirin. He is indebted to rishi. So how you can pay? You will have to recite all sastra written by Rishi Mani, Ved Puran, Adi. Then you can get free of this, you know, Rishirin. You have to, you know, to, you have to follow all etiquette and going to, you know, recite 
and you will have to recite for other also, not for your personal benefit. If this way you can, you know, get free of this rin, rishi rin, hello, dev rin, and those demigods they are giving different kind of facilities. So anyway, you will have to pay to them. But you can pay. You have to do some jagya. This that you have to pay. This way, devrin, pitrin, pitrin to pay pitrin. You will have to marry, you know, and you have to give birth to a, you know, you know, male baby. Then you can get ready, get rid. Different kind of, you know, and butarin, you will have to pay, you know. Bread and rice or sugar to all different jivas. I mean, you will have to give, distribute something to different jivas in different form. Maybe in beast and birds, or ants, maybe, or in water you can give some, you know, some round ball of atta, atta, you know, wheat. You can, you know. You can make round and give to them to fish. They can eat. This way you will have to pay. Birds and beasts and fish, all you have to. This way you can. Give. But if you are going to do Krishna Vajan, then you need not follow any social duty, family duty. Uh, nothing, nothing you need, need not follow. This way you can get free very easily. So, this way you can get free and you know so according to Bhai Puran you see we find those who have clear tattva jnana they are going to worship Sankar by the same time I already told when you are going to worship the lotus feet of Krishna or Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then infinity world can get Satisfaction. Thus means to stay jagat tushta. Similarly, reverse also. You know, sometimes if you worship a devotee, then Krishna becomes satisfied. Follow. If you worship Shiva, Sankar Bhagavan, then you know with clear idea, clear idea, Siddhanta again, then Bhagavan becomes very happy. Follow what I say. So the Hari Bhakti Sudhoda Siddhanta is there. Hari Devo Sadaraddho Sarva Devi Swariswaraha Ete Brahma Rudyadya Navagaya Kadachanaha. You should know that Supreme Lord is Bhagavan Sri Krishna. He is worshipable. But you should not ignore, you should not insult Sankar Bhagavan or Brahma. No, you have no right to insult anybody. Navagaya Kadachana. Ete Brahma Rudyadya. Ete Brahma Rudyadya. Brahma means Brahma, Rudra, etc. mean all demigods. You have no right to insult them. Even Ramanuja is just speaking, or in our Sastra also there. If you want, if you want to, if you want to insult any man, Follow. If you want to fight, going to give pain, then you cannot come out successful in your life, in your bhajan. Follow. He is going to make disturbance to your bhajan, that is deeper. But unnecessarily, if you, you cannot give pain to any jivatma here in this world. So, those who are going to worship uh, Sankar Bhagavan with this, you know, full tatha then Bhagavan also become very happy. Actually, Bhagavan Sri Krishna coming in the form of Bhakta Avatar Shiv, in the form of Sankar, to distribute Bhakti. If you go through different Sastra, Puran, Bhagavatam, Mah anyway, you go and search, you can find all the time you can find that Sankar Bhagavan is Bhakti Acharya and Naraji Maharaj. You can find that Sankar Bhagavan, 
going to give bhakti to somebody, distributing bhakti. To be frank, actually Shankar Bhagavan and Naraji Maharaj, they, both of them are bhakti acharya. Many, 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 many jivatma. And they received bhakti by the mercy of Shankar Bhagavan. So Shankar Bhagavan is acting as a guru, Paramahansa guru, you know, follow. So, this way, to distribute bhakti, Krishna Bhagavan coming in the form of Sankar. In Brahma Sangeeta, I already speak. I already speak to you just now. Those who are going to discriminate between Sankar and Krishna, there, all worship, all asceti penance, all useless. All useless. Like the case I can speak, that Min Ketam Ramdas, Min Ketam Ramdas, the eternal Parsad of Nityananda, by the invitation of Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami, Jhamat Pukur, in Bardhavan district, one their house, by the invitation of Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami, Min Kedam Nandas coming in their house, there was some festival, function, but the Pujari Gunana Mission not going to pay any honor to him. Follow. Everybody going to stand up, but the Pujari Gunana Mission not going to pay any. Then also the brother of Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami, you know, he had. He had some disbelief in Nityananda. Follow. That's why Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami writing, when Minkatam Randa is coming, Minkatam Randa is coming, Min, Nityananda also coming. Because Nityananda is sitting inside the heart of Minkatam Randa. So, Minkatam Randa Inside his heart, actually Nityananda is sitting. So if Minkatam Nanda is going somewhere, Nityananda is also going. If somebody is going to insult Minkatam Nanda, then surely he is going to insult Nityananda. Similarly, this Siddhanta you should remember, one excellent devotee, I mean disciple of Guru, try to understand this Siddhanta. If I am going to insult one of my godbrother, who is enjoying full kipa of Gurudev, then I can lose bhakti. Insulting my godbrother means insulting my guru. Similarly, if somebody is going to insult some of the, you know, you know, parshad of Prabhupada, surely he is going to insult Prabhupada. If he is going to write something or speak something rubbish against some of our Guru Varga, those who have done, they are giving their whole life for Prabhupada's Seva. If somebody is going to insult, that means he is surely going to insult Prabhupada. He can never come out successful in Nirvajan. He will have to go to hell in Sastra Vichar. It is written. So, according to this Siddhanta, we know Minketan Nandas was, you know, was not honored by Gunana Miso or the brother of, you know. So, it is written in Chaitanya Chaitamita, when Menkadam Ramda is going away, then it is written, Shei Kale Mur Bhatar Hoilo Sarbonas in Bengali. It is written. The moment Menkadam Ramda is go away, then and there, my brother fall down. Hello. My brother fall down. Fall down means going to lose consciousness, become material. Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami writing about his own brother. You know, Sei Kale Mor Vatar Hoilo Sarbonas. Then and there, my brother going to, going to fall down. I mean, lose consciousness. All. So, this way, if we, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also going to show us. If we worship Sankar, going to give water to Sankar Bhagavan, then we can satisfy Sankar. 
they can satisfy Supreme Lord. Inside Jagannath Temple, the Kashi, Kashi Vishwanath, Loknath, Kedarnath, all there you can find. In, in the gate itself, main gate, if you enter, you can find Kashi Vishwanath. So what does it mean? They are the main sevak. We should worship Shankar Bhagavan with this idea that they are the topmost sevak of Bhagavan Sri Krishna Parameshwar. With this idea. Otherwise, you are going to run a risk. What risk? If you are going to worship Shankar Bhagavan separately, I mean with the idea that Shankar Bhagavan is the Supreme Lord. Okay. And, you know, also, Krishna is also. This way, if you worship, you are going to run risks because you can remember Brigamuni going to curse. At the time of Daksha Jagya destruction, actually, before destruction, when the altercation, when the fighting going on between Nandiya and Brigamuni, then Brigamuni going to curse. Follow. Nandiya going to curse that, you know, and those who are Brahman, they can get deviated from the track, they can start eating everything which is prohibited, meat, fish, everything, as a curse given by Nandiya to Vrigamani. All your Brahman Sapradha, you can, in Kalika, they are, you know, they can get deviated. At the same time, Brigumuni is also going to curse. Brigumuni is speaking, well, those who are going to worship Sankar, they can get deviated from the track of Vedic culture. They can become useless. They can enter into Tama, dark one. They can lose all consciousness and everything. Follow. So if somebody is going to worship Sankar Bhagavan with separate idea, then surely he is going to run a risk. He can get the curse of Brigumani. But for us, those who are, you know, Guru Bhargava, those who are worshipping Sankar Bhagavan, surely this kind of curse not going to touch them because they are worshipping Sankar with full Tata Gyan, going to honor Sankar Bhagavan. So, when we are worshipping Sankar Bhagavan, surely this kind of curse cannot touch us. I mean the curse given by Vrigumani, not, never going to touch us. But if we are going to worship separately, like material people, they are going to worship in Shivaratri, they are going to worship in you know, all there, for them actually, they are going to deviate it from the track of Bhai culture. All they are going to lose their acharan, efficacy, all. They, ent they enter into Tamaguna. They can do all rubbish. And they can think it is actually worship. Sankar Bhagavan is satisfied with ganja. Sankar Bhagavan can be satisfied with you know, wine. They can think that way. But actually not that is one kind of cheating, you know, procedure adopted by Sankar. Sankar Bhagavan wanted to cheat those who are, you know, those who are averse to Krishna. Sankar Bhagavan is going to cheat them this way. Also from Puran, from one Puran, Vishnu Dharmatva, I am going to quote one incident through which you can and you can understand the total tattva Follow. Vaishnav Adhiraj. I mean the Siddhanta from Bhagavatam, you know. Many times you hear, no? Nimna ganam jatha ganga, devanam achuto jatha, Vaishnavanam jatha sambhu, purananam tu iram Bhagavatam. So this Siddhanta is perfect. Vaishnavanam jatha sambhu. I mean the topmost top Paramahansa Sevak of Krishna is Sambhu. Vaishnavanam Jathasam. Sri Vaishnav Adhiraj. 
with this idea we can do now i can speak one incident from vishnu dharmatta there is an incident one brahman devotee of bhagwan sri krishna bishak sen his name very very nice devotee he was doing you know he was going different pilgrimage he was doing different he was he was going to different pilgrimage running here and there pilgrimage different pilgrimage he is running all over india bhar bharat and in course of his traveling and in course of his traveling he is going to reach one forest somehow eh yeah, almost forest and there by chance one king because khatriya those who are khatriya they can go for hunting they are practicing actually so in course in course of hunting and he was the king reach that place and climb you know he was riding horse and reach this place and the king get down from he, the king got down from the you know horse and as, asking the brahman who are you then the brahman going to identify himself i am a devotee of krishna i am worshiping now i am uh, you know traveling different pilgrimage to satisfy bhagavan in course of my traveling i reach here this place my name is this i am actually uh, a resident of that place and going to identify himself his full name this way now raja now raja going to now raja going to request now raja going to request now raja going to request the brahman now raja going to request the brahman now raja going to request that brahman could you please worship this shiv linga in this forest now raja going to request that brahman that could you please uh, you know worship my ishta dev could you please worship my ishta dev shiv ji in this forest you know ishta dev you know because i have some headache and fever so i cannot do worship so if you could do as my as a representative as my representative if you can worship you know sip puja sankar puja then the devotee is speaking no i cannot worship sankar because i am the devotee of krishna hello vaikantik devotee vaikantik devotee mane except except bhagwan sri krishna i never worship any body i only worship i know i only worship sankar i only worship you know you know krishna nobody else hari i worship i worship only hari when when the devotee when the brahman was when the brahman was not ready when the brahman when the brahman was not ready when the brahman was not ready to worship shankar bhagwan shiv ji by the order of king then king wanted to kill him wanted to take out the sword he wanted to cut off his head then anyway the devotee took decision to avoid to avoid in you know, 
to avoid the attack of the king to avoid the attack to avoid the attack by the king that brahman i mean the krishna bhakta and vishnu bhakta he took decision okay i can worship okay i can worship sanka he took decision okay in the name of in the name of shiv puja in the name of shiv puja i can worship nishinga dev vishnu tattva so the king cannot understand so why not i agree so he was agree because king wanted to kill him so the brahman wanted to avoid you know this kind of attack by the king so he so way way i can I, i can try to i can try to worship shankar bhagwan i mean shiv ji he went to shivalaya he went to the temple he went he went to the temple he went to the temple of shiv ji he went to the he went to the temple of shiv ji with his idea to worship shankar bhagwan actually externally shankar bhagwan internally wanted to worship you know nishinga dev because nishinga dev is can nishinga dev can cut all tamagun nishinga dev can cut all tamagun selo follow so nishinga dev appeared in front of demon hiranyakashipu so if i can worship nishinga dev in the shila i mean in the shiva linga is very good because bhagwan hari is present everywhere with this conception he is you know he is you know, with this determination he was agreed to worship shiva linga and in front of shiva linga he is giving pushpanjali sinishingaya namaha ha eh? and king king was very clever he could notice that he is giving pushpanjali to nishinga deva so he was very angry you you agree you agree to worship my ishta dev you agree to worship my ishta dev now you are going to worship nishinga deva i can kill you you agree to worship my ishta dev shiv ji now you are going offering pushpanjali to nishinga deva So I can kill you. The king was very, very angry. He wanted to, he wanted to, you know, kill. He take out the sword. I wanted to cut off the head. In the meantime, by the by the devotion, by the unique devotion of that Brahman, that Shiv Linga, Shiv Linga crack, and from there, Nishinga Dev coming out. from the shiva linga nishinga dev coming out and going to kill the king itself hello nishinga dev to protect his devotee he was bound to come out of the shiva linga break and come out and he you know and the king was killed by nishinga he wanted to kill still today still today in south india still today in south india if you go you can find that lingas photo follow lingas photo mahadev linga mane that you know linga break crack and from there lingas photo nishunade in south india you can go and you can find lingas photo name this you know date and this linga is still there you can go and watch so ananya sarana bhakta gan sipke so those who are inclined to you know krishna they always worship shiv ji maharaj as the topmost vaishnava vaishnava anam yatha sambhu 
some of some of them some of them they think that sees that this shivlinga there they they can they can they can think the adhisthan in shivlinga some devotees they some devotees they feel some devotees they feel in shivlinga bhagwan is there why not sadashiv bhagwan like bamun gosim maharaj he used to offer actually tulsi some devotee in haridwar my harikatha was going on long ago they asking maharaj why you are giving bel billa patra my guru ma used to give tulsi i said both is okay but actually i am offering billa patra but it is approved in shastra and if i can find physically physically mane deity is if any deity is there or they to go side then i can put tulsi but now in the form of linga you know that's why i am i am offering billa patra because if i am going to offer tulsi all outside people also can go and throw tulsi only pure devotee like bamun gosi maharaj they can offer to they can remember they can think they can see they can see that krishna is there inside linga that's why they are doing for other people outside people they can come and they can you know take all tulsi patra from and tulsi tree and they can offer this is offense for them they cannot realize so both okay that's why you know to offer billa patra is okay okay in you know because in shastra it is written so you know, so you know some devotees they can feel they can realize the adhisthan they can see their ishtadev in shivlinga it's also okay no problem but in baraha puran in baraha puran it is written brishadhaja raja one king his name was brishadhaja raja he was serving shiv aradhana he was doing shiv puja and after thousands of birth he got the chance to become vaishnav there is also different siddhant there bisuddha ja raja bisuddha ja raja he was worshiping shiv aradhana with some special idea otherwise he is supposed to go down maybe he is having some idea there is vaishnav so bisuddha ja raja it is written in baraha puran the bisuddha ja raja he was worshiping shiv ji maharaj thousands of birth after that he became he became vaishnav so actually shiv bhakti or vishnu bhakti there is a great difference the material people those who are worshiping shiva and we vaishnava is going to do seva you know or shiv is all different so shiv bhakti and vishnu bhakti there is a great difference so if you if we can get confusion there is a big problem ah uh, also i also i already told there is a possibility that the cars by that the cars by by brigu muni can come and touch is quite natural so those who are so those who are worshiping those who are worshiping shiv ji maharaj so actually those who are worshiping shiv ji maharaj so so those who are worshiping shiv ji maharaj with separate idea then they are going to fall down if somebody <coughs> so if somebody going to worship shankar bhagwan with separate idea then is every possibility that the cars by brigu muni can touch their heart and they can you know enter into tama guna ataha gantum bhavan shaktaha sive shuddha bhakti man 
Hello. Tatro <coughs> Tatro Guntum Bhavano Shaktaha Sri Sive Shuddha Bhakti Manha. Hello. What is written? Tatro Guntum Tatro Guntum Bhavano Shaktaha Sri Sive Shuddha Bhakti Manha. Shakti Bhakti. What is written? Brahma speaking to Naraji Maharaj. Tatra Gantum, you can reach. Tatra Gantum Bhavan, Bhavan Mani, you can reach the lotus feet of Sankar because you have Shuddha Bhakti Man. You have no wrong conception about Si. Tatra Gantum Bhavan Shaktaha, Si Sive Shuddha Bhakti Man. Because you know Sip Tattva. Accordingly, you are going to, you know, love Kish, love Sivji Maharaj. You have pure devotion. So you can, I think, you can reach that place. Ordinary people cannot reach. Tatro Gantum Bhavana Shaktaha Si Sive Suddha Bhakti Mana. Follow. Abhigamma Tamasritta. Kripa Krishna Shopashatu. Why not you go and reach that place? Because you have your capacity, you can reach. Because you have, you know, no contamination in your Shiv Bhakti. You know Tattva. So you can go. Tatra Gantum Bhavana Shaktaha. You can reach surely. Sisive Shuddha Bhakti Man. So, Abhigamma, if you can reach the lotus feet of Sankha, Tamasritto. By taking shelter of Sankha, you can understand the Kripa of Bhagavan Sri Krishna on him. Because Vaishnava is Saprakas Vastu, by our own intelligence, you know, logical interpretation, we cannot understand a Vaishnava. So, Brahma going to advise, first of all, you will to reach, reach the lotus feet of Sankar and also you have to take shelter of Sankar. By the Kripa, by the Kripa of Sankar, you can understand Sankar Tattva and you can realize the full Kripa of Krishna on him. Out of your fanciful attitude, if you approach, you cannot understand. So there is some procedure. And to approach a Vaishnava, to approach a Guru, at a week, very careful. Bando Mui Sabdhanamate in Kirtan. In Kirtan, we know, Nautamata Guru writing, Bando Mui Sabdhanamate. Very careful. There should not be any mistake, misconception, dishonor. We should not ignore. With full tattva very carefully, very carefully, with full tattva very carefully, we will have to reach the lotus feet of Guru Vaishnava Bhagavan. Sankar is also Vaishnava. So, Bandhamu is Shabdhanamate. So, you will have to take shelter of him because Vaishnava is self, self effulgent, self, you know, manifested. They are manifesting, you know, self manifesting, you know, object, Guru Vaishnava. So, out of your own effort, you cannot, so you can take shelter. So, it is written, Abhigamma Tamasritto. You have to take shelter of him, his kipa. Then you can easily realize <coughs> what kind of excellent kipa is there on him. What kind of kipa of Krishna is there on him. You can go and watch yourself. Follow. And also, it is written, Oh, oh one slok I miss actually. So, I have to speak the first slok, a 98 number slok. So, you see, here actually, one page actually. So, 98 number slok I can speak after that 99, after that 100. And a sequence. So I forget to discuss this. Samano, Brahma speaking, Samano Mahimo, Srimat 
परिवार और गणाव्रता महाविभूतिमान भाति सत् परीक्षद मंडित सिम संकर्षणम सस्मात अभिन्न अभिन्नम तत्रो सो अर्चयन निजेष्टो निजेष्टो देवता तेन किंग बा किंग रातनूते किंग रातनूते अद्भुतम यू गो एंड वॉच हाउ ही इज ओरसिपिंग शंकरसन इज गुरु एक्चुअली वी कैन फाइंड शंकरसन इज अ गुरु ऑफ शंकर भगवान राइट बैक एक्चुअली पॉइंट इज देर वी नो इन इन शंकर भगवान एंड शंकरसन अभिन्न नॉन डिफरेंट हाउ इट इज रिटिन ब्रह्मा स्पीकिंग दो ही नो इज थिंकिंग इम सेल्फ नॉन डिफरेंट फॉर्म शंकरसन बिकॉज शंकरसन एंड महादेव दे और भगवत अवतार शंकरसन एंड महादेव बोथ ऑफ देम आर भगवत अवतार रूप सिद्ध एक्चुअली टू डिस्ट्रॉय द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ टोटल डिस्ट्रक्शन इज इन देंड ऑफ इन देंड ऑफ शंकरसन ओरिजिनल दो वी फाइन डेलीगेशन ऑफ अथॉरिटी शंकर भगवान ऑल्सो डिस्ट्रॉइंग बाय द ओरिजिनल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी इज ऑफ डिस्ट्रैक्शन इज इन देंड ऑफ शंकरसन एंड ऑल्सो we know in bhagavatam in fifth canto we know there is you know ilabrito varsha there you can find shankar bhagwan shankar bhagwan going to dance and sing and going to worship shankar san he know that he is non different from shankar san but still in the form of guru he is watching this guru shankar san is bhagwan so with this conception is going to worship at how an ecstatic feeling he is going to while doing archan sometime dancing and doing stuti reciting shloka and what kind of enjoyment he is getting ecstatic feeling it is spectacular so shankarsan abhishto dev ishto dev shankar bhagwan going to worship shankarsan in ilabrita varsha there in ilabrita varsha going to worship so it is the advice of brahma ji maharaj to 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 narad ji maharaj je saman mahimo simat parivar parivar ganabrita almost the same glory you know he is going to think non himself non different from shankar but still is going to worship shankarshan saman mahimo shrimat parivar ganabrita maha vibhuti man bhati sat parichhad mandita simat shankarshanam sasmat abhinnam non different from himself tatto so archayan is going to worship in ilabrita varsha इष्ट देवता तेन ही इज थिंकिंग इज माई इष्ट देव किंग रात नूथे अद्भुतम वाट काइंड ऑफ डेन्सिंग एंड सिंगिंग इज डूइंग महादेव अतुल महिमा एक्सिलेंट ग्लोरीज ए नो शोभा संपन्न ऑल इज विच इज ऑल इज पराफर्णालिया आई मीन ऑल इज पराफर्ण वाइफ एंड ऑ नंदी भिंग ऑल इज पर्षद ए नो with umbrella you know you know a chamar all different kind of you know items are there parichat flower fruits everything chama chatra chatra mean you know on the head of a king there is one umbrella na you know chatra chamar or different kind of appliances going to express for the worship of shankar and there actually is going to worship 
and what kind of excellent enjoyment he is going to propagate, going to you know distribute and others. You can go and watch yourself what kind of excellent you know ecstatic feeling is going to express. So this way, after that slok ninety nine, what I already told, tatra guntum bhavan shakta, you can go there because if you have clear tatra gyan and you have you know pure conception of bhakti for Sankar. So you can go easily. Other people, they cannot go. Abhigamma tamasritya, you must take shelter of his lotus feet. Otherwise, Vaishnava is self evangel Guru Vaishnava can reserve the right of not being exposed to your sense organ. Guru Vaishnava can reserve the right of not being exposed to yourself. Be careful. Shaprakas vastu. So you must take shelter very humbly. And he can express an all tattva inside your heart. So you can go, you can see yourself, you know, and you can go, etc. Then you can realize what kind of excellent kipa he is enjoying. What kind of big kipa is there on Sankar Bhagavan of Krishna? What kind of big kipa of Krishna is there on Sankar You can go yourself and watch there. So this way, actually, Brahma going to uh, speak, you know, all Tattva and everything to guide. You know, it is actually Brahma actually going to speak to Narad. Actually, I already told Naradji is not foolish. Naradji is Tattva Gyani, knowledgeable person, and all big. But still, you know, like the case of Arjun, he is standing on such a platform so that Gita can come out. Parikhit Maharaj Mahabhagavad, he is sitting on such a platform, going to stand on such a platform so that Bhagavad can come. So this way we should think. Otherwise, surely Naraji Maharaj is big Tattva Jnani Purus who is going to give advice even to Vyasadipji Maharaj. Naraji Maharaj is the guru of Vyasadip Maharaj. How is possible that Naraji not knowing anything? Not that. So this way, to represent all comparative statement, we can take this way. Well, uh, so Naraji Maharaj going there. Now Parikhit Maharaj, the final slok of this chapter, second chapter, going to finish today. And tomorrow, new chapter we are going to start. And so Parikhit Uvacha, Parikhit Maharaj, who is speaking this Bhyad Bhagavatam Ritha in front of Mother Uttara. The gist of, you know, Amrita of Amrita. Bhagavad is Amrita Sagar. Still, Bhagavad Bhagavad Amrita is going to get some, you know, Amrita. Bhagavad Bhagavad Amrita. So, Parikhid Mahara is going to speak. Iti evam shikshito. This way. Iti, iti evam shikshito. This way, after getting a training from Brahma, I mean Guru and Father, iti eva shikshito mato shiva krishneti kirtan kirtayan naradaha shiva lokam tam prayato kautukad ivo kautukad ivo Out of great curiosity, out of great curiosity, Naraji Maharaj wanted to run there immediately without wasting any time. Iti evam, this way, after getting a training or advice from father or guru, Brahma, iti evam shikshito he mato shiva krishna te girtan ho siv jaya siv. Eh, Tito Maharaj used to sing this kind. I eh, know. This kirtan. Nice kirtan. Ram, Krishna, Govind, Vasudeva, Hari, this Kirtan used to sing, Tirtha Maharaj Ji. So, iti eva, iti evam, shikshito, mataha, Shiva Krishna iti girtvan, Shiva Krishna is going to sing the glories of Shiva and Kirtan, Narada, Shiva Lokam, Tang, Prajato, Kautukat, Eva. Parikhid Maharaj speaking to Mother, Narad this way after getting a training, advice from father, 
Shiva Kirtan, this kind of Kirtan is going to do full of you know enjoyment, Ananda. You know he running towards Shiva Loka is running towards Shiva Loka there. So he has you know clear conception about Shiva Tattva and you know, Krishna Tattva. So there cannot be any mistake in his conception. So he is going to reach that place. Anyway, hmm. this way actually it is written that jatcha kama sukham loke jatcha dibham maha sukham tishna chayo sukha saite narhata sarasi kala. It actually is this a panini sloka actually. You know, so. In this world, if there is no attraction for any material thing, in this world, if anyone who is going to, you know, you know, want to mm, get, you know, a pra, you know, get, get get shanti, peaceful, peace. So peace means. You will have to avoid material enjoyment, then and then you can get peace. But to speak about bhakti, I am not speaking about bhakti. To get bhakti, you need, you know, you need actually yukta by ragya, balance by all proper adjustment. But here, at least if you can understand this point, you know, those who are, you know, those who are enjoying in this in human, you know. In the material world, you know, those who are going to compare, those who are going to compare with material enjoyment and peace, for them this message is very useful. Tishna khaya janito, Tishna khaya sukhai, sukha saite. If you are going to leave all material enjoyment, in that case, what kind of feeling of, you know, one bliss you can. You can enjoy, you know, by material enjoyment, you can never expect. Jatcha kama sukham, loke jatcha dibbo mahat sukham. Even in available enjoyment, available in heaven, here, there, in material world, anywhere. Jatcha kama sukham, loke jatcha dibbo, dibbo mahat sukham. But still, it can never be compared with a man who is already enjoying neutral point. Neutral point means he has no enjoying mood. All thirsty, dirty, thirsty mood all gone from his life. So, now one Siddhanta I like to speak here. When you can reach a neutral point, you know, is called actually Atmaram. Atmaram. You know, follow. Even those who are Atmaram, they have no enjoying mood, nothing. Those Atmaram, they are also feeling attraction for Krishna. Try to remember. Those who are Atmaram, Atmani, Ramati, Iti, Atmaram. The Atmaram, they are also enjoying. They are also enjoying the Leela of Krishna. They are feeling attraction for Krishna. This kind of excellent, you know, thing is there with Krishna. Excellent thing. Atma Ramascha Munayo Atma Ramascha Munayo Nirganthya Api Urukrame Kurvanti Ahetukim Bhaktim Itvam Bhutaguna Hari You can remember this discussion took place, na? Atma Ramascha Munayo Nirganthya Api Urukrame First of all, when Mahaprabhu was there in Purushottam Dham, this kind of sloka was discussed, discussion took place between Sarvam Vartajajo and Mahaprabhu. You know, Sarvam Vartajajo and Mahaprabhu. Sarvam was speaking at least eight or ten times of meaning, and Mahaprabhu was speaking eighteen different times of meaning of this Atma Ramas Chamuna sloka. But long after, when, when, 
Sanatan Goswami taking lesson, Sanatan Sikha. In Varanasi, long after, no, no, long after, when Mahaprabhu going to, uh, you know, going to, you know, Brajodham, Vrindavan. So that time actually, so Sanatan Goswami Pad actually, you know, Mahaprabhu going to give lesson to Sanatan in Sanatan Sikha. And when Sanatan Sikha going on, Sanatan Gosai going to request unto the lotus feet of Mahaprabhu, please. And I heard that you already, you know, already discussed this sloka. I mean, Atma Ramascha Muniya Nirgantya Kame, 18 different kind of meaning. 18 different kind of meaning I heard. So I also like to hear Prabhu. So I also like to hear this meaning. Then Mahaprabhu speaking, I am foolish and you are also foolish. I am foolish, you are also foolish. What I discussed before I cannot remember, let me see what I can remember. And by your association, what I can, Mahaprabhu speaking this word. Mahaprabhu when going to speak sixty, you know, four type of meaning, Mahaprabhu speaking, Tomar Shangir Gune Uthe Orthe Tarungo. Mane, by your association, I cannot stop speaking all different kind of meaning. Continuously, like, like wind, meaning coming. Is a, your, your Excellency, your association is so great. Your association, your association is so great. Your association is so nice. Mahaprabhu speaking. Mahaprabhu speaking, your association is so excellent. Mahaprabhu speaking. Mahaprabhu speaking. Your association is so excellent that by your association, I can go on speaking meaning and meaning and meaning. I cannot stop. This is your glory. Tomar Sangir Gune Uthesh Orthe Tarungo. All different kind of meaning I, am, I can remember. It is your associ by your association. So, Mahaprabhu, all different kind of Atma, Ramas, Chamunayo, Nirgantha, Apyuru, Krame, Kuruvanti, Ahetungi, Mukti, Itcham, Mutaguna, Hari. The main meaning is that, inner meaning, even those are Atma, Ram, those are no interest for material enjoyment. They are also feeling attraction for the lotus feet of Krishna. This kind of excellent, charming, you know, excellent is there with Krishna. So, Sanatan was very surprised to see Mahaprabhu, you know, going to put one, one word, Atma, Ram, you know, different, different word. After that, going to make meaning, going to, then going to make the assembly of the meaning, then you discover. Follow. This way, Krishna Bhajan is so excellent that you can realize by hearing this Brihad Bhagavatam Ritho. I am sure about it. I am sure about it because I am not going to speak any fanciful meaning under the guidance of all our Guru Varga, Gauri Siddhanta. Anyway, tomorrow actually we can start the new chapter actually. Today actually Iti Simad Bhagavate Iti Simad Bhagavate Iti Simad Bihad Bhagavatamrite Pratama Khande Dityo Dhaye Tika Tatpajya Sara Shiksha Samaptaha Follow Srutim Apare Sritim Itare Bharatam Anni Vajantu Bhavabhita Ahamya Nandanam Bande Yasya Linde Para Brahma Bancha Kalpadur was sick a pass in the Babisha, but Titan and Pavan and Babishna, pure no more.